everyone, this is Mayu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week, I painted only with coffee. I'm glad you enjoyed this, and thank you for your support with your likes and subscribes. Today, I'm going to do a new art challenge where I'm going to design some famous game characters as if they were in other games. I think this is going to be really interesting. Let's see how they'll turn out. This is the first time I'm reimagining some popular game characters as if they were in other games. I think this is going to be eh, interesting. At least, I don't think I've seen them like this before. My goal for this challenge is to make it look like these characters could belong in these other games. It's been a while since I've drawn anything Undertale, and many of you have been asking for more. So here I'm drawing Undying in a game style that's really different from Undertale. Here you might notice my arm is going off at an odd angle. I'm twisting my body to get the curves right, while making sure my paper is still because I wanted to give you guys the best viewing experience possible without shifting my paper around. So drawing curved lines like this is challenging sometimes. Another challenge that I often felt when I do these kinds of videos is the distance between my eyes and my pen, like right here. It'll be much easier if I move my paper and pen closer to me or have my head in the camera. I'm sitting down while drawing and I can't really get my head in the camera shot, so sometimes there's a big distance between my eyes and where my pen is going. So I have to really be careful on how I draw different lines without making mistakes. I think Paper Mario has such a unique style to it it's very different from the pixelated style of Undertale, so I went with this. Undying doesn't have quite the round belly as Mario though, so I slimmed her body a little. I still kept some curved lines for the style. One of the things I really like about the Paper Mario style is that thick black outline that's all around the characters. For my drawing, I went with the outer edge of the outline first. I believe this is the first time in a Fun Friday video that I've drawn an Undertale character that's not pixelated. In my other videos, it took a long time for me to draw with all the black shading and getting the pixels to be level. Eh, those are fun. Now I'm using darker colors for some shading, like in Paper Mario.
think Undying looks so adorable and cuddly now. Now I'm drawing a calm, beautiful princess. I was laughing inside while I was sketching this out. Uh, how different the games would be if this was real. She looks so innocent here. When I first tried to design Princess Peach like a Street Fighter character, I had no idea what to do. They're so different. Female Street Fighter characters like Chun-Li have huge muscular legs. How would I design Peach's clothes? So after some initial sketches, I went with a skirt that shows that Princess Peach can dish out deadly kicks, so watch out. I also drew her face with more angular features, her hair with sharper points, and I made her arms and hands larger and stronger looking. I think it's kind of funny that in previous videos I've drawn other Mario characters, but this is the first time I've drawn Princess Peach in an art challenge, and she looks like this. I try to get the colors as close as I could with my markers. I love how dangerous she looks, but she's still wearing a pink dress with big puffy sleeves. I think it's pretty funny. I think that heal can cause some major damage. Hmm. Bowser beware. Here I'm designing another cute character into something quite different. So let's see how one of my favorite Pokemon would look like in a scary game. Trying to section the body into different mechanical parts made me think in a different way. I'm not used to drawing like this, but now I have to think mechanically.
I like how the ear tips are different sections from the main ear. I designed Pikachu's ears with bonding in mind and how they connect to the head. At first I didn't know how to make Pikachu's face look more mechanical, like how would the mouth and jaw work. I do like his cute smile and I extended that towards his cheeks so it looks like that's the top part of the face and then the jaw will go underneath. I wanted some parts to look damaged, and I went with that in the tail. It was relaxing the shade with different layers. I like how with just a few darker colors, a 2D surface could look more 3D. Compared to my other Pikachus I drew in past from Friday videos, I think this is the most scary. I like how Toy Chica has dimensional cheeks, so I gave them to my Pikachu. I like how 3D they look. Vote in the iCard and let me know which design do you want on clothing and merchandise on my shop. I'll include the winner along with other designs in the future. I have free shipping on my merch shop right now until Valentine's Day, February 14, 2017. Details are on my shop. Treat yourself or buy a Valentine's gift for someone special. Check out my new designs on my merch shop. You can own them on clothing and home accessories, including my coffee painting from last Fun Friday. Choose your styles, colors, and sizes. Treat yourself or gift them. Happy shopping! Now, goodbye to Tutorial Thursdays on my Fun and Draw channel, and hello to Tutorial Saturdays on my May Art channel. I'm moving my tutorials over to my May Art channel, so subscribe if you haven't, so you'll get the same kinds of tutorials I've always been doing, from easy to advanced drawing lessons, and I'll see you there! Fun Fridays will still be on the Fun and Draw channel, no change. Thank you for supporting Art and my Fun and Draw channel with your likes and subscribes. I'll see you every fun Friday.